What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where we are going to be making the best tortilla wraps, which in my opinion are an absolute rival to the store-bought kind. You will never want to buy wraps from the shop again. Before we jump into the recipe, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Jumping into our ingredients, you will need 500 grams of plain flour, seven grams of salt, six tablespoons of a flavorless oil, and 300 mils of warm to hot water. Go ahead and add your flour and your salt to the bowl of a stand mixer if you have one, and if not, to a regular bowl, that's just fine. Just give your salt and flour a little mix around. Add your oil. And if you are using a stand mixer, go ahead and add your dough hook attachment. If not, we're gonna use good old fashioned elbow grease to give this a good mix. At this stage, you can add about three tablespoons of your water. Now this is a really forgiving dough, so don't worry if you add too much, you can just add some more flour. But I do find you can save yourself some time and stress if you just add your water slowly in batches of about three tablespoons per mix. And what you'll want to see is your dough starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl. That cleaning of the side of the bowl is a good indicator that your dough is nicely firm, nicely kneaded, and it is ready to weigh out. And you would do this by hand by mixing all your ingredients together and then turning it out onto a work surface and kneading until you get that nice smooth ball. This recipe will make 10 wraps. So the best way to do it is to take an electric scales, weigh your full ball of dough, and then divide it into 10 equal sized pieces. Once you have all your dough portioned out equally, you can sort of roll them into a little ball and almost flatten them out with your fingers just to make a little pancake shape. Rolling them into a ball actually makes it easier to roll into a more perfect circle than you might get otherwise. And you want to leave those to rest under a damp tea towel for about an hour. After your resting time is up, lightly flour your work surface. And I find the best way to roll out the wraps is to start in the center of your wrap roll forwards and then come back to the center and roll back towards yourself and then do half and quarter turns. Turning them upside down is also really important to make sure that your dough is not sticking to your work surface. So make sure you turn it upside down, reflower underneath and continue the same pattern. So just a quick tip that if you do notice after your resting period that your dough is still pulling back, it's almost like a spring and it doesn't want to roll out, give it some extra time to rest. Just as you're rolling out your last wrap, start to heat your pan to a medium high heat. Now cooking these wraps takes literally 30 to 40 seconds. So you do have to be quite quick with this. And I think a timer is a really good idea. You'll see that the consistency starts to change essentially immediately. After 20 seconds, flip it over. So you can see those lovely air bubbles starting to form, which is exactly what we want after that 20 seconds. It will just give a lovely patterned effect to your wrap. If you leave your wrap on the pan too long, you'll notice that it starts to go hard, which is exactly what we do not want. We want soft, floury tortillas. If your coloration is black, then your pan is too hot and I would suggest turning down the temperature and waiting for the pan to cool down a little bit before you cook your next wrap. And there you have it folks, easy, simple tortilla wraps that are absolutely delicious, floury, soft and pliable, ready to be filled with whatever fillings you like. And I just think it's so incredible that as long as you have four simple ingredients on hand, you can make beautiful family food. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and please don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!